Hey guys, here are little quick five questions for AQA, rate and extent of chemical change. Remember if you want a hard copy of all these questions, um, all of the other questions, loads and loads of loads of stuff to help you advise, you can get that in the free vision guide which is over my website. There are a number of ways you can measure a rate of reaction. You can measure it by loss of reactants or by the creation of products. For example, that could be by mass, um, gas produced, colour change, pH. The units are going to depend on what you're measuring. For example, if you're measuring um, gas produced, that is going to be, say, volume over time. Basically, what we're looking at is the amounts measured over time. So if it's um, mass, then it's going to be grams over time. If it's gas produced, then it's going to be centimetre cubed over time. If it's going to be colour change, then it's going to be um, opac so opacity over time. Or if it's going to be pH over time. You calculate the gradient for a tangent by dividing up over across. So if we have our gradient here, you are going to need to draw a straight line at the point that you want to measure with a ruler, please. Turn that into a triangle and then do up over across. Three ways to measure the rate of reaction. So again, that's going to be um, ways to measure the quantity of a reaction. That can be colour change, um, mass loss or mass gained. That can be um, gas produced. Temperature can affect the rate of reaction. The faster is going to be correlating to a higher temperature. Pressure is going to affect the rate of reaction when we have high pressure is going to be faster. Concentration, high concentration, faster. Surface area, large surface area is going to be faster. Please remember that a large surface area is going to be a powdered something, not a block of something. People always get this confused. A catalyst is something that speeds up the rate of reaction but doesn't get used up. How can a catalyst affect the rate of reaction? It can speed it up. Energy profile for a catalyzed versus an uncatalyzed reaction. If we have an uncatalyzed reaction, we're going to have our reactants. There is going to be a large activation energy to overcome, whereas with a catalyst, that activation energy is smaller. So less um, energy is needed um, for the reaction to get started. What symbol represents a reversible reaction? It is that one there. Upon heating, ammonium chloride decomposes. So what we are going to get, um, I'll write it down here somewhere. Reversible reaction Um, ammonium chloride goes to ammonia and hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen chloride is also known hydrochloric acid. Copper sulfate on the addition and removal of water turns from the hydrated blue form to the anhydrous white form.
And then lastly, Lichtenhalle's principle says that whatever you do to a reaction, the reaction will do the opposite to counter the effect. For example, if you heat up a reaction, um, the reaction is then going to be shifted towards the endothermic side of the reaction to cool it down.